hello everyone you're welcome to another tutorial now this tutorial is on how to sew a caribbean dress so this is the pattern drafting and i have drafted just a simple basic block the chest line yeah the breast point length the under bust length and the waist length that is the half cut now that is the ham hole and that is my round bust measurement of 11 inches that is 44 divided by 4 now the next thing i'll be doing is to insert my bust that that's the nipple to nipple measurement i am using 4.5 now this pattern drafting does not have allowance it is when we are sewing when we are cutting on the fabric that will add allowance so i'm using one one inch on both that side for both the under bust and the waist length i'm going to connect the lines together after that guys from the breast point you'll come down by one inch then you connect the line just the way you see me doing like that the next thing is to get our middle line so from the shoulder the remaining one after the neck width you're going to divide it by two then you connect it to the breast point After connecting guys, we are going to be inserting our body circumference. So since we already have the bust circumference, the next thing is the under bust. Now the under bust for this tutorial is 34 inches divided by 4 we have 8.5. Then you are going to replace your dart measurement. Okay, I think I use a dart of 0 0.75 on both sides. That is 1.5 instead of the 1 inch. So the next thing is the waist measurement of 35 inches divided by 4. We have 8.75. Then you add the dart allowance. So that is me trying to connect the lines together. After that, guys, we are going to be introducing the bust dart technique. So the difference between my front bust dart and the back is two and a half inches so you're going to take in that two and a half indicate it like that whatever yours is indicate so we'll be closing the bust that and in order to close it i have to open up a dart so i'm just trying to open that part i'm trying to cut it open cut it to the breast point then you stop Just cut, we can cut it off, we can remove the old that there, doesn't matter. After that, guys, I am now trying to close in the bust that. So watch how I close. That is how you close your bust that. Then the next thing is to bring in your tape and just seal that place up. then when you close that place you just notice there's a little bit shortage there so just fill it up fill it up like that so you don't have shortage when you're cutting your fabric guys the next thing is to get the neck depth so from the three inches there because i did three by three so from the three inches i went down by 6.5 now for this design for if you want to show much cleavage it depends on you i use seven inches there just mark a line there because that is where we'll be doing the overboss tightening so i'm going to be using 0 0.75 on both sides then you connect it to the breast point
after connecting I'm trying to check my neck width now for the neck width I use 5.5 then I'm connecting it to the second dart for the overboss tightening then the next thing for me to do is to connect my neckline from that part to the neck depth I hope you understand now when I did that I'm just trying to calculate the 0.75 I took for the overboard tightening so I'm trying to just check it if it's accurate I think I just have small shortage so that is me just trying to fill it all back guys we are done with this front pattern it is not difficult so watch how I cut so that is the neck width we are using so I'm trying to cut it off then I'm also cutting off the darts for the overburst so the overburst tightening the total that should be 1.5 because I did 0.75 on both sides now you're just going to blend that place if you have any sh sharp um, edge so just blend it up with your curve ruler then the next thing is to cut the remaining darts from the center piece after that I'm cutting off the shoulder and the ham o then I am also cutting the SX paper now the front piece is ready it is simple so this is how our neck is going to be for the front so let's cut the back guys now the back is there I also have my line then I went down for by one inch for the shoulder slope so I'm trying to check the neck width so I brought in the front pattern just to know where the back neck which is going to be then the, the remaining is just to get the middle of that after the one in so we can connect our arm hole then the next thing is to put in the I have post measurement of 11 inches that is 44 divided by 4 so you connect your lines together now this back pattern is shorter than the front by two and a half inches the front total length is 20 inches now the back total length will be minus two and a half i'm trying to connect the shoulder slope and the next thing is to get our back neck depth so i'm just using my chest line then I'm connecting that line together it depend on how you want your back to be so just curve it a little that way then now I'm introducing the bus that I use for the front that's the nipple to nipple measurement of 4.5 I think that is where I connected the neck to so rule a straight line then you take in half inch on both side for your darts for your back darts then on the chest line you can come down by one inch so you connect it together after that guys i'm going to put in the waist measurements of 8.75 then plus the one inch that's intake then you now connect your lines together so guys in order to avoid any zip bulge at the back I'm just trying to minus half inch from the one inch zip allowance 
then I'm connecting it all the way to meet the one inch at the top just watch what I am doing so the next thing is to cut the back So our back piece is ready now. I'm just trying to show you that when we take in that bust that we have the same measurement for both front and back. So guys, I'm going to be cutting down the fabric and I'll be adding allowance on all the sides except the down parts. So means this is it after cutting down the fabric. I added sewing allowance on all the sides. Now I cut four four piece each because I want to use the material for both lining and the actual fabric. If you don't have enough fabric, you can use a normal lining. So you're going to be joining the center piece together. So you take your center piece and you take the the side and you join with half inch you do the same thing for the other side so when you sew it's going to be like this now you repeat the same process for the lining as well then for the back remember the back that yeah so this is me just trying to measure the length the dart length so notch the back that so you can sew it to the length let me sew guys after sewing so much this is what we have now this is the back that the back that then the back is four piece why the front is two piece now this is the front piece this is how it is then that is the lining as well next thing is to iron them after ironing so much this is how it is looking like now i'm going to put in the zip allowance guys to avoid gaping at the back to avoid gaping when you fix in the zip instead of the one inch allowance for zip you can do one and half then the down part of half inch you can do one inch so that you have a very snatched back after sewing the zip allowance this is how it is and i have also ironed it now we'll be joining the front and the back together because we are trying to do inner sewing for this upper part it is always neater that way after sewing with the seam allowance this is how it is looking like now you're going to now you're going to open the zip side so the zip side that you sew just open it after opening both the two we have something like this so we'll be turning it now from the neck from the neck side so you place the lining on the actual fabric and you are going to turn the neck of the front with half inch then you also go to the back and you turn the back neck as well with half inch you do the same thing for the other side so let's do that guys so means after sewing it this is how the neck is now the next thing for you to do is to notch so that you can have a very smooth neckline after notching then you can top stitch so you take the lining parts you face it up that way and you top stitch from the shoulder all the way to the neck for both the front and back after top stitching it so much this is how it is 
yep this is how it is now the next thing for you to do is to close the zip side so that is the zip just turn it that way and you sew with 0.25 you do the same thing for the other zip area so with 0.25 let me sew and I'll come back and show you guys. Now sew it. I have sewed the zip. Okay, before sewing the zip as well, we're going to be turning the shoulder. So you place the shoulder right side to right side and you sew. After sewing the shoulder, just open the seam and press it. This is how your shoulder is going to be. And I have also sewed the zip also that I was trying to tell you about. This is our back and this is the front. Now the next thing is to just sew that part. Just secure it down with your stitch. Guys, we are going to be cutting the down part now. Now the down part is folded into two. Um, you can fold yours into four if you want a very full down part. I'm just trying to teach you how to fold in a bias form or a triangle form. Take your fabric and you fold that way. That is how I folded mine. Watch you fold like this in a triangle form. After that guys, we're going to be getting the waist measurement. Now the full length of the dress is a dress of 63 inches. When I minus the upper part of 20, I have 43 inches left. Now the down part is going to be divided into two. So the first length is um, 28 inches. Then the second length will be 15 inches because I added 3 inches to the second length. So I'm trying to connect where I will have my waist measurement. Now the waist for this down part will be divided into two because the fabric is folded into two i hope you understand after getting the waist that is 35 divided by two so you connect it all the way around so that is me just marking it then i'm trying to cross check if i have my waist measurements because it's a cycle, it's going to be bigger a little. If you don't want any pleats, just come up by a half inch and you mark it. That is your waist divided by two. If your waist is 30, that will be that will be 15 inches. I hope you understand. So guys, the next thing I is to cut the next the length of 28 inches. So this is me trying to mark the length of 28 inches you're going to follow your waistline the way your waist is curved the line you're going to follow it and start marking 28 inches all the way to the end of your fabric sorry you cannot see the down parts but i hope you understand what i am doing most of you already know this now I'm going to be cutting off that down part. After cutting guys, the next thing is to cut the waist measurement. Now this waist measurement, I added 1 inch for zip allowance. That will be total of 36 inches. So guys, I'm going to be cutting the other flay for the down. Now, after cutting this, your first flay, the next, since you have enough fabric at the down part, just use that, just follow that curve. Now, I'm going to be cutting the down part. The down part is supposed to be 12 inches, no, sorry, 15 inches. I'm going to add 3 inches to it. That is, that will make it 18 inches. So... Cut it off that way, mark your 18 inches and you cut. Or whatever measurement is remaining for you, you cut it off. After cutting, we have both the front flay and the down flay. Now, the next thing is 
the pleats at the center of the down part i think i'm cutting seven inches so you cut as many long piece that can go around your flea when you pleats guys after doing that now we're going to be joining the first flea to our upper piece so you join it you place it on each other right side to right side and you sew with half inch after sewing so much this is what we have this is how it is the next thing is to join the second flea so you are going to have to sew the second flea on the first flea the down part you also take it right side to right side and you join with half inch after joining guys this is how it is can you see it because it is a little bit wider than the other i just did small small pleats now the next thing is to take your long strap that you cut fold it into two and you'll be sewing with half inch after sewing then you are going to turn it out so let me do that now this is what i'm talking about after sewing i turn it out and i ironed it now if you are ironing it let the seam be at the middle so you're going to place it on your flea and you start plating then you sew on the middle part follow the seam allowance of your flea sew on it all the way to the end guys this is it this is what i am trying to talk about or this is what it is look at all the plates you can see this is very fine it depends on how many long strap you have that will determine how close the plates will be so the next thing guys is to sew our zip allowance you are going to close that part all the way to the down you close it before you fix your zip after closing then the down part just hem it fold it into two and you sew guys so i have sewed the zip allowance i have sewed the zip inside and this is how our inside is looking it is very neat and beautiful and this is the full dress look at how the dress is after that guys we are going to be fixing the sleeve we're going to be fixing the sleeve so you are going to take the remaining piece just cut another long strap whatever length you want depends on you we are just going to gather it gather then you fold the down part into two let me do that so guys after running a gather stitch on it this is me gathering it to the measurement of my armhole then the down part i folded it into two and i sew because we put an elastic into that part so you fix your elastic into it then after that you close it by the side and you sew it half inch so i'll do that for the two sleeve then i'll show you guys and I will also fix it on the dress. So, miss, this is it. After fixing on the dress, this is how the sleeve is. You can see it's very neat and beautiful. Now, guys, um, this is the end of the tutorial. If you find this tutorial very helpful, give me a like, follow me, or subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Now, this is the full dress. You can put elastic just at the front there to have that pleat the one on the thumbnail but i did not do mine because mine is well fitted